So even though you live with your boyfriend, and this can be your boyfriend for your answer, okay? Mm -hmm. If you had the chance to quarantine with anybody, dead or alive, for 24 hours, who would it be, and what would you do? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, okay, I'm like, I'm not remembering the exact names, but what, who I would like to quarantine with would be someone of the Medici royalty in their cool. palace in Florence, Italy. Um, because I was just in Florence. Thank God I got to go to Italy um, in, in October, November this past year, because now it's like, I don't know when we'll be able to go. And it had always been a dream of mine and I had never really been to Italy. Um, so I got to go there and they have the Pitti Palace, which is where the Medici family lived for a period of time. Um, and they have these gardens called the Boboli Gardens, which has now become this public park that is, it, I mean, it's huge. And the thing that's so special is it's in the middle of the city and it kind of goes up a hill. So you have a whole view of Florence and the river and all that. And I guess when I went there and I, and I went by myself, I mean, my boyfriend was with me, but he was busy that day. So I went by myself to the gardens mm -hmm. and I just walked around and just really enjoyed every little corner of it. And, and I'd say, I guess that it's like probably about a quarter of the size of Central Park in New York, which still makes it pretty sizable, right? Like Central Park is yeah. massive, but it was, it's a big, it's a big, big garden. There are many different places, ponds, reflecting pools, like labyrinths of topiary and, mm -hmm. you know, big open expanses with amphitheaters and sculpture and all of that. And I just, I went back in time and I just thought, what must it have been like to be royalty and be like, this is my garden. Like, this is my own personal paradise. I can like work with whatever artists to make it exactly my dream. And I actually mentioned this to my boyfriend and I was like, oh my God, how amazing would it have been to be them? And he's like, terrible. They're in power. <laughs> they, they're all they're worried about is who's going to conquer them next. Like they can't even enjoy their garden because they're like terrified. And I was like, okay, I'm forget about that. No. <laughs> Were they terrified or was that just normal life to them? You know what I mean? I don't know. You know, it's hard to get into the mentality, but it's certainly true that there was like a sort of conquering mentality throughout time. You know, mm -hmm. people like to talk about like, oh, oh, the good old times. And oh, we live in such a hard time today. Today is such a, you know, whether it be for, you know, reasons where, you know, people are marginalized or whether it be that, you know, there's wars raging, et cetera. Um, but I think I'm definitely of the perspective that things have been hard pretty consistently through the history of humankind. Um, and, and definitely in those times when those families were in power, which was, you know, like around the 1500s, I, I think, um, you know, that was a real fear, you know, Italy at the time was like, an it was an area of city states. It mm -hmm. wasn't even, it wasn't even a country until I think like, oh my God, it's so crazy. I want to say it's some, some, somewhere around 1900s. Yeah, like wow. Italy wasn't a country. I know. I, were, I can't even remember it either. But like, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's something that recent where literally Florence would battle Milan and we're mm -hmm. probably closer, you know, Florence would battle Siena because those are two closer places. But um, yeah, you were constantly at risk for mm -hmm. sure. Um, but I don't want to imagine that. I want to imagine that I'm the <laughs> princess <laughs> of Florence and I'm like, what shall I build in my garden today? <laughs> so I think, I think that would be a really fun um, time quarantining. I mean, everybody's gardening now. So you can see that it's, it's, it's definitely a, a popular activity in quarantine is to beautify your, your space, whether that's interior or exterior. So yeah. absolutely, yeah, that's what I would choose. Yeah, that's, a, that's a great answer. I, I would love to, to know that life. That's, that's awesome. 